Hello folks, uh, in this video we're going to take a look at another product from Mora Knives. Um, here we have the Mora Bushcraft. Now this is something that uh, is actually meant for the uh, bushcrafters uh, market around the world. And in Malaysia we have uh, quite an active group of uh, people who practice uh, bushcraft. So, okay, let's just pop the knife out of the sheath. Here we have uh, the carbon steel version of the uh, Mora Bushcraft, uh, which is quite stocky. It's, it's actually much thicker than, than um, uh, the uh, lower range models, uh, namely the uh, Companion. If you compare the thickness of the spine, you'll find that this is a, a whole lot beefier than the usual and it has a, a blade length of uh, about four inches um, and uh, you can also see the very distinguished um, scandy grind on the on the blade um, all, all these uh, push crafters they will use this knife uh, to uh, prepare meals and also build a shelter uh, the thick spine is done in such a way uh, it enables you to actually um, tap the spine with the with the, uh, a, a small piece of stick, um, a technique which is called batoning. So this actually, um, you know, if you don't carry an axe with you, you can actually uh, use this uh, uh, technique to actually, uh, you know, cut a piece of wood in half by just uh, tapping the back of the spine. Uh, the bushcraft itself has a really solid uh, rubberized handle. Uh, it has a finger uh, guard here and also uh, textured area on the blade for you to exact a good grip um, I have to say that you know the overall build quality of this blade is uh, pretty impressive and um, what you actually get with the package um, is a sheath that comes uh, with a sharpener this is a diamond uh, actually a diamond uh, file and also uh, a multi position uh, sheath uh, with the uh, belt loop and a fire steel. The fire steel is is uh, actually um, part of the package, and uh, the whole uh, knife itself costs around three hundred and and fifty retail. Um, there is another version of the bushcraft uh, that comes without all the bells and whistle, something that you can add on uh, along the way, and also the the sheath that um, comes with it, the one with the uh, sharpener, um, you know, is also an optional item that you can purchase. So you can start with, you can start with the knife without all the bells and whistle, and later add on the uh, sheath and the fire steel. Uh, the fire steel itself, I believe, um, retails around almost a hundred ringgit a piece. This is quite a thick version and. Um, you know, you you have you. I think the uh, the service life of this steel is easily more than uh, two thousand strikes, and uh, the, like I uh, mentioned earlier in the uh, companion spark video, the spine of the blade here is pretty rough. Um, it's not really really uh, you know um, actually polished to give it a smooth thing. This so that you can use it with the uh, with the. Uh, fire maker so you need to actually um, rub off the coating to get the spark as you can see the built up of um, uh, actually carbon on carbon itself is pretty interesting uh, the bush crafter is some is a knife that is um, highly regarded among the um, wilderness community around the world I've seen um, plenty of uh, videos of people using it in the field and they have a lot of good things to say about this and yet it's still not one of uh, Morat's uh, top wilderness knife this is something that um, is in between the companion uh, and another model called the Gar Garberg and also the Cans Bowl so that, that is something that I will uh, talk about later in other videos uh, because I think uh, price point wise that that is way beyond uh, 300 ringgit a piece um, carbon steel for that matter is something that you have to pay a lot of attention to uh, especially when you are exposing your blade 
you know, in, to the elements uh, in the wilderness. Um, if, if you, you know, work in environment which is uh, constantly humid and wet, the surface may catch some uh, uh, stain and all that. You might get a little bit of rust stain on your, on your blade. So this has to be oiled and uh, to keep it in, in uh, shape, to maintain it, uh, I suggest uh, vegetable based oil, cooking oil, olive oil, clove oil and all that. That will actually protect your knife from the elements. Um, I think this is something that um, I would carry with me, you know, on my um, 3D trips uh, around the country, uh, archery. And uh, one reason being is actually very stout, you know, if I need to dig up uh, uh, an arrow that is stuck on a piece of wood, this will be my go-to knife. So yeah, the, the package itself that uh, comes with it, the sheath and the fire steel is actually uh, quite a bang for the buck when you are looking at this version of, of uh, the bushcraft. So yeah, there you have it, a really robust uh, looking knife, the Mora uh, bushcraft. So thank you for watching.